Okay, in this problem, we're given that one of the legs of a right triangle has length 4 centimeters. So let's go ahead and draw that. There's our right triangle, and the length of one of its legs is 4 centimeters. Then it says express the length of the altitude perpendicular to the hypotenuse. Okay, so that's the segment that's perpendicular to, in this case, the hypotenuse through the other point. That's this segment right here. We don't know what its length is, so let's call it A. But we want that length as a function of the length of the hypotenuse. Well, that's this length right here. So let's call that H. Indicate that it's the entire length here. All right, now what do we do? Ultimately, we need a relationship between all three of these things so that we can find the altitude in terms of the hypotenuse. That's what we're after. We're trying to express the length of the altitude as a function of the length of the hypotenuse. But how do we get there? Well, what do we know right off the bat? We're looking at a right triangle. Maybe the first thing you think about is, uh, oh, I don't know, Pythagorean theorem maybe. Um, the square of this side length plus the square of this side length must equal the square of this side length. Okay, so 4 squared plus whatever this is must be h squared. Okay, well doesn't that make this side, if we solve for it, move the 4 squared over and take a square root, doesn't that make this the square root of h squared minus 16. Okay, so now we have one more piece. What else can we say? Well, remember, we have drawn this altitude in here to this hypotenuse. That's a segment perpendicular to this side. So we've created two 90 degree angles. And for that matter, we've created two smaller right triangles. And if you remember your geometry, these smaller triangles are similar to one another and to the big triangle. Okay, that's pretty powerful. To see that, real quickly, call that angle alpha, call this angle beta, then alpha plus beta plus 90 degrees is 180 degrees. And so alpha plus beta must be 90. Uh, which means if you just restrict your attention to this smaller triangle, you've already got a 90, you've already got an alpha, this has got to be beta. If you restrict your attention to this small triangle, you've already got a beta, you've already got a 90, that means this must be alpha. All three triangles, this one, this one, and the big one, have the same three angles, alpha, beta, and 90 degrees. So they're all similar. So what does that get us? Well, that means we can employ the proportions from similar triangles. For example, this hypotenuse, H, is to this side length, 4, as if we look at this triangle here, its hypotenuse, which is the square root of H squared minus 16, to the corresponding leg. Well, which leg is that? Is that this one or is that this one? We'll go back to the 4. It corresponds to the 4. The 4 is trapped between, in the large triangle now, the 90 degree angle and the beta angle. So in this triangle, what's trapped between the 90 degree angle and the beta angle is A. Okay, and now we have a relationship, an equation that involves only the hypotenuse length and the altitude length. So I can solve that for my altitude length, and that gives me the altitude in terms of the hypotenuse, which is exactly what I want, the length of the altitude as a function of the length of the hypotenuse. Let's see, we could clean things up here by cross-multiplying. HA equals 4 times the square root of H squared minus 16, and then solve for A by dividing by H. So this is 4 times the square root of H squared minus 16, all of that over H, and that equals A, but given that we're trying to write it as a function of the length of the hypotenuse, I'm going to write 
in a function form here, a of h. And that is the function I seek. Hope that helps.